Yes. New at five, the Phoenix man seen wearing horns and face paint during the riot at the U.S. Capitol makes his first court appearance, now facing two charges for his role in the riot. Team 12's Michael Doudna tells us what happened at today's hearing. Michael? Yeah, he appeared telephonically and seemed pretty normal. The one thing out of the ordinary was lawyers say he hasn't eaten since Saturday because of dietary restrictions. However, he now faces two misdemeanor charges after being featured on front pages worldwide. No, I have not. I haven't spoken to him and I really, really need to speak to my son. I really do. A mother's plea leaving federal court as her son is now behind bars for his role in the chaos at the Capitol. Jacob Chansley now faces two charges after pictures showed him face painted in a Buffalo style headdress roaming the halls of Congress and on the Senate floor. I was surprised. I didn't, you know, honestly, I didn't think that at the time that he had done anything wrong. On Sunday night, Martha Chansley defended her son's actions. But federal law prohibits the unlawful entry into restricted buildings like the U.S. Capitol and to engage in disorderly conduct that could disrupt a session of Congress, the source of Chansley's two misdemeanors. We have rights. It's, it should be our right to go into that building. Tell the people! Chansley is well known for his role at Phoenix rallies, often wearing the same outfit with a sign stating that Q sent him and yelling conspiracy theories. I want you to ask yourself. Uh, my son is a great patriot. Martha says her son did not take part of the violence and that he entered through open doors. Now she's left wondering what happens next. It's, it's very difficult. So I appreciate your prayers and, and thank you so much. Jacob is scheduled to have another court hearing this Friday at 2.30 p.m. We're in Phoenix. Michael Doudna, 12 News. All right, Michael, thank you.